Gimbo Station. This is Jared, and this is Mark, and I'm eating. <laughs> As you can see, ladies and gentlemen, particularly you ladies in the room, if your husband is irritable or mad at you for cheating on him on his Let's Play channel, I'm just kidding, they're not in a relationship in any way, just give him chicken fingers! That's right, chicken fingers! They're buttered and battered and ready to clog his arteries in no time. Chicken fingers! Those aren't chicken fingers, those are chicken strips, dude. Don't sass me! I'm sorry, Mark! You heard the gentleman, don't sass him. Now give him some chicken fingers. Made from the finest of genetically modified poultry. <laughs> Who have hands. Yes! And then we skin them. Fly their hands. Here's what the fingers come from. It's authentic! Can't get more accurate than that. No! What. No more false advertising from your major chicken companies. Here at Game Bro Station, they preach honesty in their poultry. And we don't put hormones in there. No. Unless we need hormones. Just human DNA. <laughs> lots and lots of human DNA. If you are what you eat after all, so might as well embrace it, right? Yes. Why eat something else when you could just eat yourself? <laughs> you got all the right nutrients. Right? All the ones you would need. That is exactly what I needed. Yes! Are you talking about what you're doing in this menu, or are you yes. talking about our fine chicken products? <laughs> Both. Uh, yes. You had it here first, folks. Approved by Jared. There it is. Yay! I got XP Walker! I level up when I walk. Blind surrounding enemies to stop them from attacking me. No direction. Okay. Is it related to the Imperial Walkers? Probably. Yes. Ta -ta yes, it is. They'll be Ta -ta. clinging across the screen. Look, they're clinging across the screen. Right. Oh, God. <laughs> Shoot it down, Jared. Get to the Tauntaun. Oh, there goes the walker. <laughs> I was really hoping you were going to say get to the chopper. Just for like the out of... Hi. Place reference. One reference at a time. Alright, fair enough. <laughs> so, what's our mission here? Uh, remember when you were Terra and we go fight the uh, guard armor ripoff? You mean when I was Terra? Yes, when you were Terra, sorry. I used to be Terra once. <laughs> was it terrible? It was tolerable. Okay. Oh, <laughs> the beautiful pun. Whoa, me. Oh look, Mark! I will birds. say the experience was a little rocky. Oh God! Get it? Hey, you were in a hard place. Yeah. <laughs> How do I target things in this game again? Oh. That. All right. And I will admit you were a bit dry. Ah! Yeah. Hey, Mark! Birds! Remember the birds? Okay, can I say this one thing? Alfred yeah. Hitchcock. Remember from uh, Mary Poppins, all those songs in there? Yeah. I always thought the Feed the Birds one kind of creeped me out as a kid. Really? Did that one That's like, again? it's one of the most... Well, the lyric-wise, yeah, it's insightful, but the tone, when I was a kid, the way I heard it... It's very melancholy. Yeah, it sounded like depressing or something. I didn't like that It's song. the point. Can you hum a few bars? Because I'm drawing a blank here. Mm -hmm. the, the bird feeding song you just brought up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh -huh. yeah, that one. Uh -huh. That bothered you guys? <gasps> yes! Oh, it's Scrooge! Uh, Scrooge is fighting the Umbush. Fight the Unverse. He's got a cane and lots of money in Kingdom Hearts. He's got a pogo cane and tickets to Disneyland. Scrooge. Woo! Ah, Alan Young. Even at 90 plus years, you're still magical. You passed away, right? No. Hey, I what? swear to God, if that's true, I will be pissed. Uh, Look at him. Whoa. He knows he's got the money. <laughs> I think his mouth is actually clipping. I think it did clip a little bit there. Yeah, I saw oh, that. Oh my goodness. That's how awesome Scrooge McDuck is. Scrooge McDuck don't need he your... He breaks your physics. Yeah. He He's so rich. Objects. He's so rich. What does he care about physics? Wait, how old did you say his voice actor was? He's like going on ninety, dude. Him and Damn. June, him and June Foray are like the oldest Rocket. voice actors. Rock on, man. Rock yeah. on. Alan Young, man. Alan Young. Oh yeah, that's where he got the passes. Yeah. I forgot. That makes sense. The nephews are there, and the rest of the royal family. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
Yeah, because he, you, him, and June Foray, speaking of her, reprised their roles for the DuckTales remastered that came out a while ago. Nice. Action. Full voice acting. Huh. Yeah. <sighs> no, I have that on Steam. I still have to play that. I <laughs> love it. Oh, yeah. I highly recommend it. Mm-hmm. Oh, I know it's good. I, I just one of those ones I haven't had a moment. Way to. forward. Great studio. Mm, nice. But let's keep pressing onward for glory and DuckTales. Oh, Isn't there another actress who's still around doing her thing is uh, the one who played uh, Rocky from Rocky and Bullwinkle? That's June Foray. Oh, okay. That's the same oh, person. okay. Yeah. I thought we were talking about, like, a bunch of them. Yeah, she's Rocky from Rocky and Bullwinkle, Granny, Witch Hazel from Looney Tunes. Ah, it's Merlin. The one that played Betty Boop passed away a while ago, right? I, I think a good old. while ago. Because th- her last role, I think, was literally Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Oh, it was, mm. right? Oh, yeah, yeah. You thought I correct. That's a shame, too, because I always like Betty Boop. Hmm. I never really saw a lot of her cartoons growing up. I only saw a few of them, but that's because, you know, she is kind of one of the... Iconic, yeah. yeah. One of the pioneer characters. Oh, yeah, no yeah. question. Who was originally a dog. Betty Boop was really? a dog? Yeah, originally she was designed to be a dog. That's why she has such a weird head. Huh. Matt with the animation facts. Well, don't quote me, but I'm just saying I saw some... Uh, Good show. ...things about that. Mm-hmm. Whoa, your key blade just went all over the place to open that. Mm. Wait, hey. Mm. All right, is there anything else? Save well, point! The, well, yeah, but there's also a score. poo I keep <laughs> forgetting it's not triangle. God! You see Kingdom Hearts 2? You see what you did to this man? <laughs> he tarnished his soul. Oh my goodness! I'll grab the Ignite. Do you know what Ignite is good for? Setting things on fire. Cooking your chicken fingers! Well done today! <laughs> hey, it's the rehash Merlin house. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. It's I really. You know what? I'm hoping for. Do not... I ha- uh, quick question, sorry. Do I have to go to Winnie the Pooh's world? No, or? it's a side quest. Okay. Oh! oh. Yeah. Let's right, rob Merlin! Yeah. <laughs> That's Robin Old Man. That definitely sounds like a good idea, you know, robbing one of the most powerful sorcerers in the world. Totally, bro. Mm. It gave me a block recipe. How do I use those? Do you know how? Do I just go to Let's these Let's not guys? worry about it during the recording sessions. All right, fair enough. Okay, so like I was saying. Yeah. I want a sword in the stone world at some point in the franchise. Yeah, I forgot you mentioned that. Yeah. Although I think I wouldn't want it in three. Maybe in the next saga? Uh, in the next saga, or actually, quite honestly, I would want it, if the next saga is actually a prequel saga, mm. I would want that, and then some of the worlds for the remaining original summons that were supposed to have been destroyed in the oh, first like, one, uh... and that's how they became summons. Because mm. like, the worlds got restored, and that's how Mushu winds up, winds up back with Mulan. Same with uh, Simba. With Simba, yeah, but then there's like Bambi and Dumbo. Whose oh, worlds yeah. we haven't visited yet. Right. And I think that could be a cool prequel that idea. Yeah, do with the classic Disney tales more. Uh huh. Oh god, could you imagine how trippy some of the, like, Heartless or Unver- whatever could be in Dumbo's world? Yeah. That'd be oh, some nightmare based. fuel. Well, not even circus based, just like. Could- <laughs> what? Circus based. <laughs> Damn. Well then! Wait, did he? Oh, they died. He just them. rolled right on along. And committed suicide. Yeah. Ain't that uh, the way. Uh, if you're an unversed uh, and you're dealing with serious emotional trauma, try chicken fingers! <laughs> You've got time for it. Whether it's ketchup, honey, or honey mustard, chicken fingers. They're just that damn good. Yeah, because those dopamine levels are just what they need. We pump our chickens full of dopamine in order to ensure the highest of quality. <laughs> and He's gone got... mad again with power, Matt. With what now? Oh, that hurt my head. Oh, Dude, oh, are you okay? Hurt my head. <laughs> what? Oh, they say comedy is an occupational hazard. Oh. 
That way. That's way. I don't know. Yeah, go that way. Just go up those stairs, I think. That's where I came from, though, kind of. Huh. It's a male loom all over again. No, don't remind me. I shall. Uh, oh. Well, we can kill these things on here. You, that actually could make sense of a prequel thing, though. Hmm? Think yeah. about it. Prequel thing. Because in Kingdom Hearts 3, they keep showing the, the masters as prepubescent right. teens. That could be interesting. Where they go to different walks to train or something? No, just a game with young Xehanort and young Esquire or whatever. Right. Ericus? Whatever. Esquire sounds cooler. It actually means nothing. <laughs> Esquire is not a legit title. You just put it at the end to mean be fancy. Well, actually, I knew someone who was an Esquire. He says because if you're the third in line, it's basically what you call someone after a junior. I like really? my excuse better. Mm -hmm. I thought it was just a fancy knight kind of way. No, it's a fancy title that doesn't mean anything. That's why I was pretty sure the definition was. You know what? Someone put... Put that description on the board. Get the Encyclopedia Britannica. We'll get into that definition. Which one of us was right? Well, it's kind of gloss on you, huh? Yeah, oh. it's kind of doing a Star Wars thing. It's just rising <laughs> up from the bottom of the panel there. Ah, it's, it's too slow. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I'm just going to assume I'm right. Hey, I was increase say, magic. I was like, why did I level up? And I remember, oh yeah, XP walker. Oh, I thought you just walked through the door. Well, I did. But I leveled up. I'm Walk like, into the dirt door. Oh, what up? I just leveled up. <laughs> Break it down. Woo! Cheetah! God damn, man. You alright? But seriously, though, I don't know. I mean, I'm gonna kind of tie into this uh, movie blogger guy. I really couldn't care for a sequel. Uh, prequel? Mm. Because, I mean, like, yeah, Xehanort, Ericus, sure, I guess I could care, but honestly, I just kind of want to see what happens next. But actually, wait, I'm, I'm going to retract that a little bit. Depending on what happens in Kingdom Hearts 3, mm. will I say, okay, I want to see where the world is going, or I'm curious about certain elements of what led up to these events. Mm -hmm. either, either their story, or just go even further back and just with the Keyblade War. Mm. But again, we don't know what's going on with 3, so we can't really say... That, yeah. yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. Yeah, depending how 3 goes and what goes on and who knows what, um, I would want to see either one or two games depending... Look out for the Mandrake! ...on the Keyblade War. Thank you, though, Mark. Yeah, but I never do. They're little dicks. Yeah, they really are. It's kind of hard to... Stop focusing on him! But you know, with the trailer of Kingdom Hearts 3, the they had a CG teaser. of them as, like, kid or younger yeah. teens. They look creepy. So they might have <laughs> flashback sequences of them oh, yeah. up, so there'll be no need for a oh. game devoted to the war or anything like that. Point. Or at least to their youth. Yeah. Because they weren't around for the Keyblade War, were they? No, they, I, I think they were, like, a generation or two out of it. Okay. Yeah. I think. Don't call me on that, but... The way it looks like, the way it's kind of been built up, that seems to be accurate. Where there, it's not gracious. <laughs> it's after, it's before their time. Okay. But like, who knows? Because clearly there has to be some involvement. Because King Triton knows about the war. He does. Which like I never that. gets He's revisited. That smart man, oh, merman, whatever he was. He's a fish. He's a no, he's, he's on not. On the team of the uh, Aquilines. <laughs> oh, wait, no, that's Ursula. What am I saying? Yeah, God, Matt. I actually heard somewhere one time they actually tried to say Ursula was sweet. No, <laughs> she is an octopus. It was, it was probably like some PR mishap. I would think so. Wait, it so. wasn't like supposed to be an official statement? On like a product of theirs. Like like an off oh, well, then, yeah. sideline thing. You never trust like... that crap. No. Into the unknown, Jared. Uh, yes, but I sure. believe this is about to be the... Just go? Uh, yeah, just go. Right. And then we'll leave with a cliffhanger. Yes. Let well, me just spoil that, so it won't be as exciting now, will it? Mm, you're right. One of you has to chop off your ear. <laughs> I only cut your hair, dude. 
Oh, yeah. The good news is, next time you folks will have a lovely boss battle to look forward to. Yeah. Transformers, heartless in disguise. They're unverse. I don't care. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Oh, watch out. Michael Bay's entering the scene. Get out! Explode it!